Doctor Who, The Ice Warriors, Episode 2, Murder Control Center, Victoria, Jamie, hissing with Victoria overpowers Jamie and takes Victoria away with him. I need a control room, client, client. We took just, he just took 45 seconds of pose ionization. No prior knowledge, Arden. Well, it took us, the Academy of Scientists, years, got it. The Buddha took three milliseconds, Arden. Yes, well, we had to program it first, Glent. Quite. Well, before I make that final decision, I want the computer assessment of this doctor, Glent. Garnet. You must be absolutely sure, Glent. State the work potential and community value of the doctor. Computer, more information is necessary for full evaluation. High in coup, but undisciplined for our needs. Present evaluation, be used on research projects, but could be observed obstructive in certain situations. The doctor enters. Doctor, oh, there you are. Clint, doctor, would you mind? Doctor, I've been looking everywhere. Why don't you label your doors? Clint, yes, this is a private meeting, doctor. Yes, I realise that, and I'm sorry. Clint, you haven't yet completed our business. Doctor, look, I wouldn't intrude. I don't think, if I didn't think it necessary, what I have to say is extremely important. After all, you did ask me to help you, didn't you? Darden, has something happened to the warrior? Doctor, well, it's something to do with that. Yes, Clint, we have more serious matters to hand the hand. Doctor, this is serious. Arden, now let me tell, let, let him tell us, Clint. Well, Doctor, thank you. It's a, it's a helmet. Is not what we thought it was. Clint, it's a prehistoric drinking cup? Doctor, no, it was electronic collections. Clint, huh? What are you talking about? Arden, but that's impossible. You must be mistaken. Doctor, no, I'm positive. You realise what, what that means, Arden? Yes, it must mean the civilization it came from must be more advanced than we thought. Doctor, yes, indeed. They have... We, they even had astronauts, it appears. Clint, how do you how do you mean? Doctor, the head, this headpiece is no warrior's tin hat. So I highly sophisticated tin base on it. Clint, it's a high it's a highly Doctor, sorry. Doctor, this is a headpiece of no warrior's tin hat. It's an extreme sophisticated space helmet. Clint, I do jump into conclusion, Doctor, for a scientist. Oh then but this is true. Dolly, this is true for your project is in danger, Clint. In that way, in what way? How can one preserve body? How old affect us? Doctor, how old did you, how old did he get here? Well, he didn't walk, did he? Clint, well, if you want, what, what, if you want you say is true, my spaceship, Dolly, yes, and where is that spaceship now? Oh, in Glacier. It must have been intact. He had no signs of mutilation. He couldn't have crashed. He must have landed. Client, can't you see the importance of such a discovery? Client, the pro- propulsion unit of a spacecraft is probability. Gun it. It's probability atomic powered. Client, quite. And now, if we use the iron laser at full power, Doctor, this reactor pole could be, could be exploded or be activated. Client, but it won't. But if we don't, go on it. Whole area be contaminated. Clint. But if we don't use a cryonizer, then what then? We are part of a world plan. Now if we hold back, the plan cannot go into operation, go on it. We could hold it on a minimum power. Minimum power. Clint, not good enough, Alden. Now we don't take the risk. Accommodation level would last for five decades or more, Clint. It really makes a fine control heat level even more vital. Doctor, yes, well, I thought you ought to know. Clint, yes, you're right, thank you. I must inform the computer immediately of a, for its decision. Adam, well, we shall need more facts, Clint. Well, furnish me with facts then. Jamie enters, Doctor, Jamie, Doctor, Jamie. Jamie, the boy has come alive. Adam, alive, Clint, Doctor, Garant. Clint, what? Jamie, take him, Victoria. I can't stop him. Arden, alive? I found it. Medi Control Center. Clint, alive? 
Doctor Strange, Clint. How did it happen? Doing well. We're just talking. I turned and he was standing next to us. Oh, then that's impossible. To be reserved, yes. But to come alive, impossible, Doctor. For a human being, maybe. Odden, but what? Not human? Doctor, look at this table. Plant. Well, it's been burned. Odden, well, I used to a low from the teachers specially. Doctor, yes, but uh, a high current? Odden, yes, but it's quite safe, Doctor. But is, if that current passed through a low resistance, gone it, extremely high temperatures, current, dense heat, would have shot him back into life. Jerry, oh, look, I don't know what you're all talking about. Well, I know Victoria's on danger. What and what are we going to do to save her? Oh, yes, Jamie, you're right. Come on, you can't have gone far. I know he's a control room. Client, danger, red alert, danger, red alert. Triggers within perimeter. Capture and control, priority one. Pete, on all posts. Jamie, but, we, but we're out, within the perimeter. But suppose we're out of it. And that's a danger, red alert, danger, red alert. Triggers within perimeter. Capture and control, priority one. Client. Well, that would be just too bad, obviously. I can't release men for extreme search outside the base, Doctor. But she may be in danger of her life. You can't take that decision. Client, very well. You want an impartial opinion? I shall ask the computer. Jamie, oh, not the computer. Doctor, it's a waste of time asking the computer. George Room. Victoria, who are you? Valga, hissing, Valga. Victoria, where are you from? Velga, from the Red Planet. Victoria, Mars? We thought you were dead. Then you came alive. What happened? Velga, too many questions. Victoria, I'm curious, that's all. Velga, I need answers from you, Victoria. Don't think I can help you very much. Velga answers. Victoria, is that a gun? Velga, how long was I in the ice? Victoria, I don't know. One of the scientists said you've been there. Since the first ice age, thousands of years ago. Velga, that cannot be true. Victoria, were any others with you? Velga, yes, our spaceship crashed at the foot of the ice mountain. We came to investigate a great avalanche of snow buried us. Victoria, did the others who would still trap the glacier then? Velga, I will free them. Then we will return to the red planet. Victoria, how? You can't get out them out by yourself, Velga. You will help. How was I brought to life, Victoria? Let the scientists, let the scientists on Earth help you. They would tell me they would not help me. They wouldn't keep me. They would keep me as curiosity. They would not leave my worries to the dead or destroy them. But uh, Victoria, no, no, they wouldn't. Well, that was my, my, with my men, I cannot talk, can talk with from strength. The enemy should decide. Victoria, decide? Decide what? They'll go, we're going to go back to our own world or conquer this. I know he's over control room, Clement. All the relevant factors now have now presented. How should we act? Jamie, ark. Now there's a machine to know. Doctor, come on, Jamie. Have patience. Give it a chance. Computer. Our Asian program should continue as planned. A limited number of lives expected to be lost. Jamie, what about Victoria, though? Doctor, shh, Jamie. Give it a weather, however, the suspected presence of an alien spacecraft must be investigated in case of potential fusion, but fusible material. Jamie, spacecraft, hey. You reckon? That's where the worries come back, gone back to? Doctor, well, he didn't come by his set and pony, Jamie. He put in order to accommodate his priority. A workload has been re- rescheduled to one free scientist investigator. Client, who should it be, who should be the least computer scientist Arden? Client, client, well, Arden, do you think you could handle this giant, ice giant, super-handed? Jamie, I don't know why I need at least one guard, Jamie. Well, what about me? Then I'll go with him. Dolly, yes, he's capable, lad. Clement, well, the computer said one investigator only. 
Doctor, that was from, from your stuff. James Extra. Jamie R. E. Gonnett. Mission must be carried out. Cuter has ordered it. Gonnett. Has the doctor has agreed to help us with the eye laser? Yes, very well, the boy can go. Doctor, oh good. Gonnett, but you must leave immediately. Because the sooner we know whether there is a reactor buried inside the, inside the glacier or not, the better. Jamie R. E. Maybe. But Bertoy is important too, you know. Glent, you don't seem to realise, boy. The fate of the world could be at stake. A girl must take her chances. A chance. Plant, plant museum still to her. What are you trying to do? Cripple me? Pemberley. You know the trouble you store. You know it's just stupid store. How was I to know I'd get infected? Pemberley, it was in... in if you listen to me by the first place store, I, you would have stuffed me to the eyeballs with this anti this and anti that. I've been flat on my back for weeks, Penley. Well, there's now your fatty fit store. Ah, oh, well, anyway, someone has to do things. Penny, hmm. Well, that someone isn't going to could be you, store. Ah, oh, it's nothing. I'll pull through, Penley. Yes, I'm rather afraid you will. But if you don't do what I say, you seem to be in a coma. Well, at least will give me a bit of peace. Still, don't try to scare me, your scientific guff. Penley, I was just telling you, Still, you've got a headache. Still, ach, it's nothing. Penley, what I like about you, you is a polar bear. Got, got you, you give it, you, you give you indigestion, feeling fuzzy in the head, huh? Still, I will not let you it beat me. It's go, it's, is it going to be bad, Penley? You don't know much about it. You don't know much about it, Still, My mouth's dry, Penley. Here's what to do. Here's what to do. Do you call it a tomato? A really ripe. Still, ugh. They still have done, done that. Waiting weeks to have that, that, that weapon properly. Penny, you should take it. It'll do you good, Still, ugh. Penny, where well, isn't there are advantages to living in a plant museum? Even this close to the gate there. So, oh, even a scientist would appreciate it then. Penny, where well, is warmth of food and selected ancient food plants? Tomatoes, carrots, to pay, potatoes, sweet strawberries. A world out of Atlantis story. Aye, helps me picture how it was before that they killed off all the plants. There's spring then, flowers, you could pick the fruit of the trees. Now your rotten scientist coughs, drop down dead. Penley, even so, it's not the nicest way to live. Still, I, Penley, an avalanche waiting on your doorstep. Still, not leaving here until I have to. Penley, granted. Still, you're not going to after the food, are you? You wouldn't know what to do without me. Where are you going, anyway? Penley, I've learnt enough for you to take care of myself. If you're, it's for, as it's for your erotic stake, I'm going. So, where to? Penley, the base store. I'm going to Penley and to a rotation in Africa. Never no, trust anybody. Penley, I'm going to for drugs. If I don't get them, you're as good as dead. Storeroom, Victoria. It, 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 it's Burger. Go on, Victoria. It's a black box of wires connected to you. They came, you came alive. Well, I don't know how. But I've got a power source of resistance. A great heat and then life. This room it came from. We'll go back to it. Victoria, I'll tell you how, where, how to get there. Burger, you'll take me there. Without the power unit, my victorious are lifeless. Victoria, but you have to go down the corridors. Supposing someone sees you, so I'll go and kill them. Well, you knew, Victoria, me? Brother, you called for help. Victoria, what is that? What is that? Brother, sonic gun, it'll blast your brain with noise. Face your face, Jamie, there's no one here, not even a mask. Arden, well, we didn't pass them on the way. Now stand aside, lad, will you? Jamie, we were wrong then. You lost out. He's lost out there somewhere, Victoria, with him. I can't 
can't get a reading. There's something inside there. But, it's, but all he's doing is creating havoc with the radiation center. Arden, could you need a client? Arden, could you need a client? Answer, please, client, on screen. Client here, report, Arden. If no sign of fugitive of the girl, it doesn't, they didn't, couldn't have gone this way. Client, on screen. Is that not the purpose of your mission? Please report correctly. I have no reading obtainable. Sets are being jammed by some sort of screen device. I can't make head or tail of it. Collant on screen. But something is there. Arden, correct. Collant on screen. Well, come on then, man. Don't waste time. Go in and find out where it is, Arden. Well, not with the equipment I have with me now. Command on screen. Very well then. Return at once. The mission will be repeated. Correct equipment. Arden. But this is the pro- a proper equipment for the job. Command on the screen. Obviously not. Don't waste time. Return immediately. Out. Jimmy, a nice boss you got there. Arden. Yes, the trouble with the client. Is he not a proper scientist? He's an organizer. He should have been born a robot. Jimmy, let's go. Victoria. Corridor, Victoria. No, no, he's not in there. Further down the corridor. Medi Control Center. Velgar. A black box. Find it quickly. I know it's a control room. Garnet. It's still on the hard power, but it's holding well. Client. Good. Well, he does it well. I still think you ought to get an expert. Why can't you get one? Client. I choose not to. Doctor, but why? Client. You're not here to question me, Doctor. No, I'm here to help you. If I choose, Client, this is the most important job I ever had. Now every, um, now every other project, I handle with ease. Nothing has failed. I've chosen because I never fail. I've chosen because I never fail. When I handpicked, when I handpicked the team, I made one bad mistake. Doctor, that's Chap Penley. Client, best man in Europe in my foreign agent studies. As it turned out... Uh, Hopelessly temperamental. Dr. Temperamental or individual. Creative scientists have to be allowed some head. You know, clients. Creative poppycock. When he walked out of it, he only proclaimed himself to be criminally, criminally responsible. Client, creative. Doctor, you couldn't have been just, you couldn't have been, couldn't have been just a simple gesture protest. Clint, he's always protesting. This is his team with his mission. If we fail, others cannot succeed. Doctor, your name will suffer. That is important. Clint, I lead the team. I depend on the experts I picked. My judgment was sound. Others won't let that, won't see it that way. Doctor, so you need Penley. Clint, no, I don't need Penley. I do need an equivalent brain, but it would be months before anyone else could pick up the knowledge that Penley required here. Just in time, that's a permanent, potent issue. Dr. Well, I try and help you, but I do think you might try trusting human beings instead of the computers. Then I trust no one, Doctor. Not anymore. Even the missions are unreliable. I'll go and see the working area. Preserved for you. The Medi Control Center is ready. Medi Control Center. There you go, the power pack. Victoria, I'm looking. Something falls as she jumps. Victoria, yes. They look like the one. Yes, yes. There you go. You're coming with me. To the ice mountain. Victoria, no, please, client Ventures. Client, who are you? Vera knocks out client. Victoria, you killed him. Vega, come. Vega, Victoria, leave. Penley comes out and hiding. And Doctor enters. Penley. Uh, I was going to give him this. Doctor, oh, that was disgusting. It's disgusting. It's just a, that, that, just a thing. Do you see this? Penley, I came very close to to it at um, times. They're seen and look so peaceful. Doctor, oh, he's all right. Did you see who did it? Penley, uh, yes, a monstrous looking creature. I don't like the look of him at all. Doctor, 
Well, uh, what is that girl here? Penny, yes, you see the scared stiff doctor. Well, when do you go try and stop them? Penny, well, I came here to get some drugs. For a man who's sick. I couldn't run the risk of getting caught. Doctor, she's only a young girl. Penny, she's alive. My friend will die if I don't get back. Oh, yes, yes, I see, Penley. Are you going to after them? I can take you part of the way. Don't know, no. This crew is searching already. There's red alarm all over the base, Penley. Well, I've got to be... I'm, I've got what I want. I'm off. Dr. Penley? Penley, you know about the mean then. My escapades in computer land. Doctor, you need you here, you know. They need you desperately. Penny, nothing is nothing ain't needing getting. I'm free from their problem for good. Doctor, they're your problems too, you know. It's your world, Penny. My world is up there. Here. It's up here. Private admittance. Well, I'm going to go then. Doctor, I expect you know what you're doing. Penny, you know? It's nice to meet one. That hasn't, hasn't got a good that. Go that yet. Terry, oh, thank you, Penley. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Penley, the doctor t- takes a smelly sauce and uh, puts the smelly sauce on the client's nose. Gunnett. They're in here. Gunnett, Jamie, Gardens, enter. Doctor, where's Victoria? Gunnett, leader. Gunnett, Gunnett, Lent. Adam, what's happened? Gunnett, where are they? Gunnett, I had a message from the perimeter gate. He smashed his way through. Didn't go with him. But he knocked me out the power back. Doctor, the power back? You mean that one you used to unfreeze him? Bryant, yes. He and that girl have may, may have many more. Arden, to revise herself like herself. Current others? What do you mean? We don't know. Though we didn't know there were others. Do you well now? He head to the glacier. Let's get, let's get away from here after him. Don't know. That's, that's what he wants us to do. That's why he's taken Victoria with him as a sausage. Now you must let, let him show his hand first. Dr. Jamie, we can't just stand here waiting around waiting. Doctor, we're not going to. Until the morning. That should be enough time. Clint, I will now, m- no, must I, must I remind you the mission that you have yet to accomplish? I don't know, no, client. Not the night. Not for are you or anyone. You've never been there at night. Place your face. Vega uses a tracker to find his men at the ice. Vega have located my warriors. When the friends come out, o- when your friends come after us, you're a fairly surprised, Victoria. What are you going to do, Vega? You'll see. Don't try to run away, Victoria. I was only going to watch you. Vega, you're going to help me. Maybe use your sonic gun. <laughs> you're out of the ice. Tiny museum, plant museum, Penley. 24 hours and you're your own animal. You'll be your own old animal self again. While well, you're on the ground repair story. Oh, p- chap. I'm going to do a bit of hunting myself. Go up the glacier. Something how strange is happening. Eric Penley honored sir. Uh, that warrior. The girl. That funny, scruffy looking chap. Something strange indeed. Something disturbing. Something to do with the ice. And if that, is, that peculiar chap is said is true, they re- if they really need me, it may mean the parting of the ways of us. Cross your face, Vega, it is done. They are free. Now to bring him back to life.